Morning traders, Paul here with Gamma Edge. Today is Tuesday, the 31st of May, end of the month. Go ahead, pause your viewers. Please read this, important to you, important to us. The market model, as many of you are aware, if you're in the Discord, has been improving significantly. Across the top, we have the 52 week new high, new lows for the first time in a long time. We actually had Friday's action showing uh, more 52-week new highs than new lows. This is constructive. You can see how the numbers have come down over the last four days. This is one thing that we like to see for confirmation. Uh, regarding the filtered cumulative tick, positive all day, strong into the close. Uh, as opposed to what I thought could have happened with a risk off into a three-day weekend, it was just the opposite. We had strong buying on the filtered cumulative tick. Uh, you can see linear up for the second day running. Very, very strong cumulative tick patterns and something we want to pay attention to. I've added some uh, balloons down here I'd like everyone to read. Uh, the key thing that we're looking for today is a continuation to the upside. Uh, we're in this railroad track pattern. Uh, you should be long here with some trial balloons and potentially adding. You can see we are now the white cumulative tick. Uh, is now within the ribbons and historically that has shown to be a very very good entry timing uh, back in this area as well as down early down in this area um, not too late to get in but i would not get oversized at this point index uh, conditions big uh, continuation pattern i guess is the way to look at this also we're seeing uh, puts come out uh, in terms of negative cumulative gex uh, on the spx the spy the Qs. And IWM. We are seeing in the SPX, the SPY, to a certain extent, calls uh, either being added in the SPX or coming out uh, in the uh, in the SPY. Something to pay attention to. Um, could be some short-term monetization, especially into the weekend. Uh, just have to watch and see what's happening. But the fact that we are losing some of the downside protection is of interest because we typically see that build back in. And when that happens, uh, prices uh, tend to be weaker. So we'll want to watch for that. Uh, Qs, uh, again, drop on the net negative and increase in the positive. Same thing on IWM. Can't really see anything on the uh, positive cumulative GEX here. So can't really infer anything there. Overall, uh, still constructive. Calls going in across the board, except for the SPY, as you saw right here. Nevertheless, very strong. And look at the relative ratios of the red wing to the green wing. Uh, we're getting close to parity here, which means that uh, positive gamma condition is just around the corner if the trend continues. Near-term expiries, uh, I've highlighted the, the key uh, strikes here for today. Note positive uh, expiry shown here. Um, note this is the 41.35, this is the JPM roll today. Uh, this will come off and go somewhere else and we'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. Uh, 4.20, and 1.90 in the SPY, the Qs, and IWM respectively. Um, just pay attention that uh, if we get any form of monetization because we are above these primary levels, uh, at least in the Qs, uh, we could see some uh, drop in price. You can see we actually do have some fairly large strikes here, and we are above them. And again, any monetization because the SPY, the Qs, and IWM um, uh, are cash, or excuse me, are equity settled for tomorrow. We could actually see some some drop in price there. I want to talk a little bit about the uh, the JPM roll. We do have 5,800 contracts that are going to get moved around today. Uh, so I think that's uh, that's important. Note there are many more equivalent strikes out there than this 58. 58 is about one eighth of the primary JPM roll, so the impact today is not necessarily uh, significant. But I do want to call it out because we are floating right around that area. So the 41.35 is the existing long put from JPM's perspective. Uh, when I wrote this, it was we were sitting at 41.29, so we're basically balanced right around that uh, that strike. We don't think that is uh, just a coincidence. We, we feel that that is a very well hedged area where we're, we're pointing to. Uh, the roll strikes, just if you're new to this, um, there is another presentation that I did about a month ago on the JPM. Uh, it's up here in YouTube. You can go look at that. But the roll strikes are typically 105%, 95%, 80% of spot, which roughly 
gives us these as the targets for today, so watch for that. Uh, typically, they adjust that short call to um, uh, adjust for a net neutral cost between the, uh, the long put and the short put. So this moves around a little bit. Um, we get a lot of questions about what is the potential impact today, and, and it roll, really boils down to these two things. If spot price is below that 41.35, all things being equal, uh, the deltas will, will tend towards uh, plus one limit on the dealer side of the table, and so they'll have larger dealers to adjust downwards. So we could see some selling if we are below 41.35 at the time of the roll. If spots above 41.35, uh, we could see the opposite. So just be, be aware of that. If we start ramping up and the roll has not occurred, uh, we could uh, actually uh, see continuation of that. But if we're below, uh, we could actually see uh, a fairly significant move down. Now remember, there are many more strikes out there. I'm not talking about those, and they could absolutely neutralize the JPM roll. But just be aware, this is one of the trajectories that we are watching for today. Uh, graphically, uh, here's uh, the delta for the JPM structure. This is today's expiry. Um, the curved lines here that you see are different time frames in today. And basically, if we are below it, you can see we get a discontinuity in the deltas, and they will, will tend either towards zero or towards one as we, we get closer and closer and closer into the, uh, the final of the day. The reason this doesn't go to zero is because I'm including all of the JPM structures. All, all three monthlies are in here. You can see what the impact uh, today is going to be on, on the overall uh, markets. And we have to presume they're fairly well hedged where they are. So go ahead, read the, the bubble balloon um, and um, uh, make sure you understand this because we do think above or below this will have a, a, a significant impact. When we look at gamma here, um, all things equal, uh, so the rate of change of gamma is called speed, and we have observed that we often gravitate, uh, especially on big expiry days, whether it's uh, the SPX in general or due to the JPM, we tend to, to gravitate where speed is constant. St speed is constant. It's the slope of the line here. So basically what this is telling us, the blue line is the end of day today. Um, speed actually favors us moving up towards this 4200 level. So just be aware of that, that as we, we slip down, speed starts to increase. But you can see the peak here, which is, um, you know, a different period during today, the peaks start going in this direction. So the trend, the bias trend for speed, uh, for gamma, uh, if you believe that we're going to migrate towards where speed is constant, uh, tends to, to move us upward today. So just be aware of that, and that could be one of the phenomena that we're going to actually see. Looking at the zero DTE, circle one shows you that it is a, a single expiry today, negative overall, very, very flat. It might as well be neutral. Um, it, so what that typically means is we can go either way. Not a lot of pressure from the expiry. It's a Tuesday expiry. They still are not very strong in, in general. This is where we closed on Friday. Uh, the JPM is sitting right here. That's coming off today. You can see we've got a lot of delta sitting up here. Gammas are, are kind. Oops, sorry about that. Are kind of mixed of what we see right here. We do have a lot of green deltas, uh, delta dollars sitting down below us. So the transition really starts becoming at this 4235, 4240. We need to see more calls added up in this area in order for us to continue up. So we're we're calling the 4200 level as one of these key levels. Uh, key flipping points, and then uh, 4235, 4240 is another uh, um, potential range for uh, for today's expiry. For the SPX, uh, which uh, is the AM and the PM, we do not add the SPY into that. You can see where we've got a very, very strong presence of, of delta dollars, negative delta dollars there, positive below this. So this is right at that 4195, 4200 level. Gamma is negative before, below that uh, 4085, 4080 level. Um, so we feel a natural transition area is going to be between these two boundaries, and we could play without a lot of pressure in these areas. Remember that that 4135 here at the JPM, uh, even though not as strong as what we see here at 4100, could play a role as that's, uh, that is uh, on the short term. 
At 4,000 down here, just be aware, we do have a significant amount of puts sitting down here as well as calls giving us a very, very large uh, mechanism down here. And take a look over here, 26% of the SPX uh, gamma is scheduled to come off on the monthly. So we think that's, uh, again, something very, very important to look at. Taking a look at the expiration, uh, nothing here. Uh, as I said, it's flat. We've got positive gammas all the way into the monthly. These are getting smaller, relatively weak, and note that when we have this positive uh, um, gamma sitting here, we do anticipate lower volatility. Uh, lower volatility is often associated with an increase in the overall uh, prices. I think the key thing to take away here is that uh, as any monetization occurs, we could get a, a you know pressure to move down in the overall SPX. But if more uh, opportunity is used there to buy calls, that'll balance and just keep grinding us upward. And so just be aware of the structure here and what we're seeing. We're seeing a lot more uh, calls being added into the overall framework. Uh, this has improved dramatically. This is the SPX structure. It is very constructive for the bulls. We're near the top of the transition zone. The transition, if you watched all last week, has been getting from a very wide structure to a very narrow structure. That definition is important because it shows that calls are being added and puts are being closed, especially within the transition zone. As this cleans itself up, that is a, um, a setup to potentially just grind higher. Note, we do have a couple key levels to be aware of, the 42 85 here we have a pod, major positive gamut uh, at 4200 and again we're sitting here at this 4158 right in this particular zone so as this gets cleaned up uh, you can see we could potentially keep grinding all the way up here and we'll just have to keep an eye on these overall levels so what's the summary for today so the market model Overall strong for the bulls, it's significantly improving. Longer term, we're bearish, but we're weakening. Uh, remember those slopes of, those seat of the uh, ribbon are pointed down, but we're up in the ribbon now, and so that is starting to slow. Shorter term, we need to push through that ribbon and uh, get you know another continuation pattern for today. We're within, uh, depending on how you count it, we're on day two or day three of a new bull signal. So just keep aware of that. Um, calls are being added to the, the SPX, the SPY and the Qs. We think that's important. Uh, it's very, very different than the last six weeks, so make sure that you understand how this is, uh, how this is occurring, what you see in the data. Uh, the JPM does roll today. There are other structures out there, but the JPM is well known and it may have an impact, and we're floating right around this 4135, which uh, presumes we're well hedged going into this. So either side is going to be fairly important uh, to, to watch that. Um, overall, we think the structure is increasingly supportive of moving higher, but we could see retests of that 4,100 or 4,000 to shake, uh, shake out the loose hands and, you, and those key levels there. So that's it for today. Uh, sorry for the noise in the background. We've got some uh, yard work going on next door, and uh, it's too, too nice to close the windows here. Uh, <laughs> If you like today's content, please come and join us at uh, www.gamedge.us. Uh, that uh, will take you to a Discord sign-up page, 14-day free trial, all the tools turned on, great group of uh, traders, and uh, certainly are interested in, in showing you how they uh, use Gamma in their, uh, their overall trading strategies. Follow us on Twitter, please, at Gamma Edges with an S, and here on YouTube, uh, Please, if you liked uh, today's content, hit that like button and subscribe so that you can uh, get notified the next time we post something. So that's it for today. Uh, have a great Tuesday. See you in the Discord and uh, have a great week. Thanks, everyone.